that Gore and I had never heard. Yep. And we're like, oh yeah, we're gonna fucking talk about this tonight. Yep. So in order for us to hear the story, I need y'all to give the biggest round of applause. Can you see them on BET? Please put your hands together for Jordan Carlos. Yeah. Yeah. I'm drinking a little um, from the bar. Let's let's give a round for the bartender. Yeah. 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 A little, a little uh, blue elderberry something cider and uh, some the gentleman Jack. Uh, gentleman Jack, you know, I'm just trying to try to keep it mellow. You know what I'm saying? I'm by the NPR leg cross up on this stuff. <laughs> trying to show you that I'm not a threat. You know what I'm saying? No, 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 no. I'm a coffee shop leg cross. Why don't y'all get the coffee shop yeah. leg cross? Yeah, yeah. Get that up. It's the Lower East Side. There right? it is. There it is. What is that? Lower East Side right here in the coffee shop. Why are you rubbing it not like that? No, it's fucking wrong. It's easier to do this when you have khakis. That's oh, it. Okay. Like, okay. like, like, like you got, like you're working on a, a book of essays. <laughs> <laughs> That's coming together as a coherent um, you know, kind of thing. Oh yeah, mm, the green space, the green space. Uh, anyway, happy Halloween. Happy Thank Halloween. you. Hey, happy Halloween, everybody. Happy Halloween. First thing, I, was definitely, I like her energy. She was definitely dragged here. Uh, <laughs> what was this your idea? It wasn't your idea to come. Was it? That, absolutely not. <laughs> it, was, it was one person. It was, it was. It was one person's idea, and the other person was like, "Nah, I don't want to go." But you're going. 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 you are going 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 you Martin Luther King Jr. and I knew a lot about Star Trek. Okay. And then you were like, hey, I'm gonna talk about Martin Luther King. And we were like, um, mm. don't we, like, we don't really do that. But then you were like, he was a Trekkie. He was a like, Trekkie. Ooh. And I was like, what? Dr. King's a Trekkie. Dr. King's a Trekkie. I just remember um I, I would sometimes watch uh Star Trek when I was a kid, and I was always fascinated with uh Nichelle Nichols, who plays yeah. Uhuru. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. She's the uh, fourth in command, uh, the communications uh, director on the, the Enterprise. Yep. And she was the first black, uh, um, like, leading role in a television series yep. in America, in American history, period. Wow. So that was, like, a big deal. And I remember, like, seeing her, and I, I just, I mean, she's, you know, she's, she's obviously gorgeous. She's super talented. All these things, just a wonderful kind of, like, presence and poise. And 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 um, I thought that was just so cool. So I was always just a fan, you know. I was always a fan. Um, but then uh, I just randomly uh, heard this story one day. I was at like the barber shop, yeah. and, um, <laughs> and then, uh, rarely, as you see, it's rarer that I go. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, you know, but like, but I was gonna get like, a shameless yeah, drink. Yeah, 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 right right yeah. No, 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 man. This is black man tales. The more, you, the more you cut your hair, the, the, the shit. Goes away, you know what oh, I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, I know that too. Like, that's what I told yeah. my barber, hey, don't touch the top. Don't only hit the sides, bro. Don't hit the sides. Only hit the sides. Oh, yeah. hit the sides. That fade keeps going. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. all the way back here. It's absolutely like a roller coaster and shit. You know what I'm saying? And I, I stab a motherfucker you touch my hairline. Like, yeah. stay back. <laughs> I'm 43 years old, I got this much hair. I shouldn't have this much hair at 43, but it's that's good. Boy. That's good. That's it's good. a boyish head of hair. Yeah, that's that's boyish, very boy. You know what I'm saying? I don't even know what the fuck to do with this hair at 43. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh my god, so much. Anyway, I'm at the barber shop, and this old head is talking. He's like, no, I'm telling you, Dr. King told her to stay on the show. <laughs> By the way, yeah, I, I go to a barber shop in Bedside that's run by hand puppets. <laughs> it's really good. Just little button eyes and shit. And so they, they say back and forth, he's like, that never happened, right? And then, and then I, I went and I Googled it. I Googled it. And, and it's true. It's really true yeah. that Dr. King, uh, he, he convinced her to stay on the show. And how this happened was, Nichelle, um, she was, it was like 1966, so this is the height of the civil rights era, yeah. I think the 65, the civil rights bill just been passed, Woo! check my footnotes on that, <laughs> and, and then, uh, right, so, yeah. 
So uh, she comes on television in this series, and she said that the, the, what happened was she got a lot of fan mail, and she was becoming more popular, and the show was, of course, an overnight hit. Um, and so she's getting offers from Broadway to do sh to do. Well, she was play. a stage actress. Yes, she loved the stage, and so yes, a absolutely. Yeah, she, she didn't want to stand in that dorky show. You know? <laughs> 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 it was just the first season when she was thinking about I'm I'm done, right? Absolutely. She was like I'm done, I'm yeah. done. She went up to Gene Roddenberry and was like Gene Roddenberry, I gotta, I gotta get out of here. I gotta beat myself up. And then uh, he was like he was like you're making a big mistake because what I'm trying to do here yeah. it was it was an inclusive cast. I mean, you had George Takai, who, 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 as we all know, is the wokest, you know, old man in the world. But like, <laughs> when George Takai... Right Twitter beef, by the way. Oh, yes. with Shatner? That shit's wild. Y'all yeah. 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 you know what I'm yeah. talking about? Keep up with that shit. It's yeah. hilarious. George Takai is heavy on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> I love George Takai. Oh my. You know, but like... <laughs> But like he was on it, you know they had, they had like a Russian guy. It was like to, to show. And by the way, it, it was a, a perfect example to me of like Afrofuturism. Like what what it was showing that like if y'all have seen like Lovecraft Country, uh, or anything like that, um, what Afrofuturism like shows. And this, thank you, welcome to my TED talk. Is, <laughs> is that we were able to survive. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So we survive into the future, and we have control. So fuck yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So. Uh, long story short, she wants to quit because she's getting more popular. You know, she's, if she had Graham that, at the point, she would have been verified. She would have probably been like, <laughs> probably two hundred fifty thousand followers at this point. You know what I'm saying? So like, so she's she's done. She tells Gene Roddenberry, and he's like, just think about it for the weekend. Just think about it. You know, like yeah. which is wild. And like, uh, black people never get this chance. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They, don't get, they don't get time to think. Yeah, yeah. 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 Like, yeah. Like, I can answer right now. Yeah, yeah. 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 What, did, what did she like flipped over a table and like, who's coming with me? <laughs> so, um, so she she said that she was invited to like an NAACP fundraiser in Beverly Hills. That oh. which is a little sus. It's yeah. a little suspect. But um, she goes to the party and she says that somebody was like. So somebody wants to meet you, and they're, they're your biggest fan in the world, right? They're a huge Trekkie. And she's like, okay, well, I'll meet this person. It doesn't matter. I'll meet this person. And and it, the, the room, you know, the crowd clears. It's Martin Luther King. It's Martin Luther <laughs> the Hang is there. <laughs> and he comes up to her, and he's like, I am your biggest fan. <laughs> I am a Trekkie. <laughs> I am the biggest Trekkie in the world. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, are you serious? So I was like watching a video of her telling the story, it's amazing. She's yeah. just like, he said, I'm a big trekkie. <laughs> it's like an emotional story, it's but you guys are so stupid. I love that, for that picture you showed Dr. King, I love because he's in sunglasses. I love seeing him cool. He's yeah. just cooler than the other side of the pillow. That's what people don't know about uh, Dr. Martin Luther King. Yeah. But, um, well, oh my god, you know. But, um, <laughs> Alright, so uh, you ever seen a picture of him playing pool? Yes! Where he's like shooting behind, behind his back? back. That's real! That's, that's what I want in my yeah. house. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. You're really doing angles and shit. Yeah! That. Absolutely. That's a math. Pussy mad, did I tell you? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, anyway, he was like, quarter pocket, and then <laughs> freedom! You know, so, uh, and so he's calling shots. So, he tells, where the fuck was I? <laughs> Tells her that he's a huge trucker and he's like, This is the only show that me and Coretta. <laughs> he's like, It's the only show that me and Coretta let the children watch late at night. <laughs> so the king household yeah. like that is what's on. Watch. That's all they watch. They stick to their planet because life in the real world is so hard. So hard. <laughs> so, Dr. King's like, The show is on, yo. Coretta at 10 o'clock, you know what time it is. <laughs> Third. Oh, All right, so Junior Junior, come watch the show. So they watch the show, and uh, they love the show. So then she says to Dr. King, well, that's too bad because I'm leaving the show. And he's like, you can't leave the show. This is the most important thing. Right? It would have been crazy if you shook the shit out of her like, no. He said you can't, and she was like, and she said that. Well, what he said was that 
we need that kind of representation. And then he said something wild. He said, he's like, because you have to understand that you could be replaced with somebody, a white person, another person. <laughs> then he says, an alien. <laughs> She doesn't know what to do. And then there's a knock at the door, and, the, and she's like, who is it? It's Dr. Ken. <laughs> He's like, I really need to do <laughs> MLK showed up to the dressing room. Can you believe it? He's getting, you know. He's That's a deep trek. You know I mean? like the trek is deep in that one. <laughs> I'm picturing Dr. King at a Comic Con, and I can't shake that thought. <laughs> yeah, the best time, man. He's so good, But I mean, I, he, she did stay on the show, obviously, from 1966 to 1969, and all the movies after. And she, you know, she was a huge uh, role model and a symbol. I think, like, um, uh, uh, Whoopi Goldberg, who said, like, when she was nine years old, used to watch her on TV and say, like, Mama, Mama, come quick, there's a black woman on TV and she's not a maid. And so, Whoopi Goldberg would end up being on uh, The Next Generation. And, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's that kind of thing. And um, there's a new Star Trek out, I think, on, like, CBS Plus. Yep, Discovery. Yeah, yeah Discovery. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. And Michelle Nichols comes back and she did an episode of that. Okay. So, I mean, it was, to me, it's just like the, the echoes and reverberation and representation is really important. Yeah, I, I just you know it'd be nice if like I don't know like somebody would come do that for me for whatever show I'm on. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta stay on Gakko. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, what people say in the chat. Well, the audience uh, line is basically saying that uh, Dr. King invented do it for the culture. <laughs> I think mean, that's there's a pun in there someplace. But, uh, but he definitely said do it for the culture. And I think what what hit like Gene Roddenberry, who did get an NAACP award for for actually uh, hiring Michelle Nichols, what he was trying to do was show like I mean he was he was trolling like uh, more conservative America. Yeah. Right? And he was saying, Look at that! <laughs> that, is, that, that is in no way photoshopped. Look, I didn't say all the photos were the way. accurate. Live long, Rossi. <laughs> <Rose. laughs> <Live> long, <Rose. laughs> Of course, oh, good because there, you know, it was, it was a. Um, what he was saying was that in space things were inclusive. That actually we had to band together against, like, you know, outside forces, and people would come together. That's that's what all sci-fi is because yeah. we can't actually handle movies on race, right? So we have to be like, well, these others are gonna get us. <laughs> be my friend, black man, for <laughs> <laughs> while we fight these aliens. <laughs> Are you having a better time yeah. now? Because <laughs> it just feels like you're holding up far. Yeah, there it is. See? I mean, Farrakhan talks about UFOs and aliens and shit. There's Farrakhan. That's another show right now. Look at him just drop Farrakhan on these white people. She's like, Farrakhan knows about the aliens. I'm just saying. Farrakhan knows about the aliens. Everybody's like, Farrakhan had it covered. Farrakhan knew what's up. You know what I'm saying? What did Cornell West have to say about this shit? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Jordan, thank you so much. Of course. Of course. Yeah. Yeah.